Hello and happy Monday. Um, it's been a couple weeks or so since I've been on here live and um, it feels good to be back. Like I should say it's been a couple weeks um, since I've crafted something live. Um, I gave you the closeout sale uh, catalog walkthrough um, last week and that was a great sale and the clearance rack was such a fun surprise to see so many things um, that were discounted that we all love on there too. So I'm just gonna get my iPad going well, a few more of you jump on. Hi, Lisa. So yeah, I haven't done much for crafting, but I felt like I could do something kind of fun, simple and easy. So I still have, um, here are my fun little brace that kind of goes mostly up my arm. Um, so the, the blessing has been in just, oh gosh, that happened like two weeks it's been now. And, um, the first day or two, I couldn't even hardly like release my fingers. And so now I can do that. And, um, it's still kind of awkward. I'm like used to having two hands and being able to pull those nasty little stickers or those annoying little stickers off our dimensionals. And that's a little tricky sometimes. So I have to remember that I don't always have exactly two hands but just to be able to craft and do some light things like that it's pretty exciting so hi Lisa hi Shelly hi Nancy and it looks like I'm here um, on my iPad so um, I am kicking off a virtual party for Kay Keelblock tonight and so I'm hoping that she can jump in and watch too and she's thinking of closing her party on um, December 15th or so. So if there's something that inspires you that you want to um, order and add towards her party, know that that's still open, even though I kind of have been um, uh, kind of putting off her party a little bit for the virtual crafting session. And I have to say a big thank you for K, uh, 2K for being so incredibly patient during this time of like uncertainty with what's going on with my wrist and everything. So, um, so yeah, so I'm incredibly grateful for her and for all of you. Um, I've been getting texts and emails and cards in the mail and it's just been so like um, humbling to say the least. And so um, let me just show you quick what I am going to be crafting for her session here. So she had kind of given me a fun email. Oh, I like how the cameras uh, kind of, I have some good lighting in my craft room here and I like how the lighting is kind of hitting all of the foil uh, fun edges in there and the pretty papers that I'm working with. So hi Tori. It's always fun during Christmas time to pull out um, Christmas uh, stamp sets and the pretty papers and anything that can sparkle to go with it. <laughs> Thanks Tori. Hi Leslie. And so um, with with that, uh, uh, Kay had said, if you could show these things, not that you have to, but she gave me some great ideas. And so that helps me because sometimes I have ideas galore and then to try and find something to um, bring that um, together for you guys or just to narrow down my selection of what I should be working with. So Christmas gleaming. So let me move my camera around and show you some other fun news that kind of goes right along with it. Okay, so here's my workstation, and I have um, here are the cards, so I'm going to show you that once again um, the right way so that, there we go, um, so that you can see it. Um, you don't have to read the deck the halls the opposite way there. Um, and then I think you can better see some of the texture on there too. So, um, and the sparkly paper. Hi, Sherry. And hi, Leah, too. So what's fun is I'm using um, the larger punch out of the Christmas Gleaming Ornament Punch Pack here. And so I'm pulling products from, if you like to follow along, from the Holiday Catalog. And this is on page 19. So what I thought was fun about getting this ready for Kay's party, and for those of you that like a great sale, I'm using the Ornament Punch Pack. It used to be $34 for these two big punches, $17 for both of them, 50% off and then this paper and both of these items um with the, them being 50 percent off just minutes literally before i went live tonight i wanted to check to make sure they were still available because i thought sometimes with a sale thing they go like in minutes so you never know what's going to be available so the brightly gleaming specialty designers series paper is usually 15 dollars um, it is seven uh, seven fifty, so that's what I'm using here. And like each piece, um, if you can see in the paper, you can practically see the sparkle. Each piece has some kind of like coppery embossing on there too. So I just want to show you that um, the stamp set will be retiring too, as well as everything that I've mentioned um, here too. So that's where I'm pulling the products from there. 
But if you have any more questions on anything too, please let me know just because um, sometimes that's just, uh, you never know what's going to be in or not, or if you need help with ordering or questions on anything, let me know. So with the stamp set, you'll get a great uh, variety of Christmas images. Hi, Carla. And so um, there's different ornaments, and I'm not even using the ornaments as a stamped image. I'm just using um, a couple of the sentiments and the fun little splatter that I always think adds so much um, to a card. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for joining in. So that's the stamp set, and I'm not going to really touch on the pretty papers too much because I already did. Um, but yeah, you can see some of the sparkle, and you can see from the a lot of the bits and pieces that are in here that I've ordered several packs since this um, came out last year, and then they brought it back this year, and so it's been fun to know that um, it's been just as popular this year as last year. Had to take a quick sip. Okay, so this is Kay's host code. If anybody needs that, but as soon as my uh, video is done, then I will go ahead and post um, the still shot of the card as well. And then you'll have that host code with that information too. So I am starting with a, I have all these little pieces here. I'm, <laughs> and I knew that would happen. My brace sometimes gets stuck and caught on things. Okay, here we go. So, alrighty. Yes, and Carla says, I have made so many cards with this suite. And I think it's one of those things where everything, like all the products, the paper you cut and it just keeps multiplying and the ideas keep coming. And I feel like I am not tired of this at all. Some suites, because I've used them over and over, um, they just kind of get old, but this one not at all. And the paper is so fun. So my card base is the Mossy Metal. So I cut that the long way. So the eight and a half by 11 in half and then scored it at five and a half. Um, and then cut at four and a quarter so that my card goes this way. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining in. All right. So I've also got, I want to just make sure that my camera's showing a good portion of it here. Um, and I think this can go right down right away um, with my adhesive so I can put that card base on my mossy metal. So the designer series paper here is four by five and a quarter to cover that like so um, and that I can just kind of put aside and then what I'm going to do next and these like I said maybe um, having them in my hand is kind of fun so you can actually see like size wise are pretty um, sizable punches um, I'm using just the larger of the two in the ornament punch pack that's on sale for half off while supplies last. So we all know how that goes with Stampin' Up. So I'm just going to take some vanilla, very vanilla cardstock here and punch out that ornament. Kind of set that aside. And then I've got some mossy metal and I'm going to do that same thing there and set that aside. And then I've got some really pretty copper paper, which I should have, that's mine from my sample card. <laughs> I should have cut that off so that I can um, scoot that right into the punch there. So that's, uh, the copper is part of the brushed metallic um, package that is in the um, holiday catalog too. So I've got those. And then um, I'm just going to work with that so far. Um, so next I'm going to bring over my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And this is actually the Hammered Metal 3D embossing folder. And you can see the fun look of that. So sometimes I think it looks like mold spores. Sometimes I think it's it looks like toasted marshmallows. Sometimes I think it looks like hammered metal. And sometimes I think it looks like giraffe skin or some kind of scientific project. So <laughs> it's kind of a, a fun thing. So let me bring that over. And because um, this is a 3D folder, then um, all I need, according to my um, platform here, is the platform, which is number one, and the, um, the uh, what's it called? I wanna make sure I use the right thing. The 3D embossing folder platform, that specialty plate, I guess is what you would call it. So then I'm just going to put the hammered metal, and this is a really varying, um, 
type of pattern so it's not like you've got to line it up any which way you can just fit all of those in there and it's going to be good so it kind of takes the stress away from having to line anything up especially when you've got three of them that you just want to quick put through and know that they'll be great too so we have all these fun little ornaments here then and I really think that the copper shows that off the most too so <laughs> yeah story so I, if I put food through there I wonder if my kids would leave it alone thinking it's moldy <laughs> Sherry likes it too so I do think that's what it looks like on the picture okay so um Next, what I'm going to do is just take that very vanilla again, and with my Mossy Meadow ink pad here, I'm going to open that up and stamp out my Deck the Halls with Boughs of Holly. Just going to put that kind of over here. And this punch is one that I use a lot. It's called Everyday Label Punch, and I truly feel like it could be used every day. So I'm just going to open that up, and then I can see exactly where I've punched and know that it's going to be pretty straight in there, like so. Sometimes if I stamp it a little crooked, I see the outside edge of my big piece and, and second guess myself. So I think that looks pretty good. And next I'm going to open up my Pretty Peacock ink pad. Hello, Lois. You're always so faithful to watch and I'm at a different time today. Um, so with my Pretty Peacock, I'm going to pull out my little splatter stamp is what I like to call it. And I often say when this stamp or a stamp like this is included in a stamp set, it's one of my favorites, just cause it kind of adds a little bit of kind of like flecking and color without kind of taking over the whole project. So just wanna add that kind of here to poke it at it. Kind of looks like, oh, if you look at Christmas lights now, like those uh, star showers on somebody's house, and I see I'm missing a little spot there. There we go. So now it's like I'm adding mold spores. If you joined in just a minute ago, mold spores or spo <laughs> mold spores to my, my greeting there now too. So that kind of ties that all together. Um, so thank you, Carol. Merry Christmas to you. All right. And then ahead of time, I have just cut... Um, a little piece of that same copper metallic um, paper or cardstock from the brush metallic um, package. And this is like 1.75. Oh, I would say, let's see, it was right in, in um, between two and a half and 2.75. So five eighths. Yeah, two and five eighths, I think. And so that's going to go on top of there. So I think now we are pretty much ready to kind of assemble the card. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape down my uh, metallic. And this um, is white on the back. Some people think it's sticker paper, but it's not. And it's very easy to get things to adhere to that, especially the new stamp and seal. I want to make sure I get this lined up. This kind of uh, pattern paper you can really tell if it's not lined up correctly <laughs> and then for the greeting I just want to pop that up with some dimensionals so I'm going to flip that over and put a few dimensionals on there like so yay my hands cooperating to take those off all right, and that just stays popped up like that. And then for my ornaments, I'm just going to put for the first couple of them, just some regular adhesive and just kind of stack first the very vanilla and next the mossy metal. And then I'm going to pop up the um, classy looking copper layer with some dimensionals. Okay, as soon as I bragged about being able to take it off, then <laughs> I never know if that those fingers are going to work or not. It's kind of a guessing game as my day goes on. Okay, so I'm just going to put that one kind of overlapping like so. So we have the three colors, um, the very vanilla, and then the mossy meadow, and then the classy copper, which is the same as the background here. Um, the inks and mossy meadow and the peacock kind of is... Um, 
the dots and then other pieces of that pattern to all tie in together too. And then to really um, kind of make this card classy for Christmas, and you guys know me, I always want to add some kind of embellishment. So I'm taking out these star designer elements and the color, uh, the metallic color in here is copper, which goes great with all the other copper elements on here too. So, oh, this is funny. This reminds me of Tori, because Tori had kind of a um, a new tip that kind of went crazy on her and I needed a new tip on my um on my uh, tool. And so when I screwed it in, I thought, okay, it's either not going to come out at all or it's gonna go crazy when I'm not looking. And that's kind of what it did, but at least my tacky end is coming out. So um, with that, I can just grab and push off the star elements here. And I think, I don't know why, but I think this reminds me of cozy. There's just a little scrap of paper on there. Cozy like sweaters. When you put like a necklace or something at the top of a cozy sweater, I think these stars just really um, finish so well, these fun little ornaments. And actually, I think just the way that one pops up, I love having my live videos in my stamp room. So if something isn't quite the way I want it to be, I can add something within like an arm's length in a sec and not even have to move where I'm standing. Okay, let me get that little piece off. And my original sample card just kind of laid nice. This one's laying goofy at the top and I want it to lay nice. Otherwise, I feel like that star's not going to lay nice either. <laughs> and Tori, you'll get the hang of your tool. It'll, it'll grow to love you at some point. Okay, so I have my little embellishments on there, and then I just wanna do kind of a fun inside. Oh, and what I did um, for that is I used a mini dimensional just because the tops of these ornaments are pretty small. So yeah, these little mini dimensionals are excellent for popping things up in a small space. All right, so for the inside of my card, I think we can all relate to having leftover strips of this. So when I cut my 12 by 12 piece down for this main um, mat piece, um, that's four by five and a quarter, we're usually left with a 12 inch by, oh, say an inch and a half um, piece here. So I just cut that in, a ha um, in half. So this is about three fourths by 12. And then I could cut the 12 into three equal pieces of four inch, which is exactly the length of what that inside piece is gonna be, four inches there. So um, I'm just gonna take a little piece of my adhesive to run along there. And then this is total personal preference. So some people, um, for the insides of their cards, when they want to um, put those in, um, sometimes people like the look of that, and sometimes people like the look of that too to finish the inside of their card. I uh, love books and so I think my visual preference is left to right because of that and so I don't think that anybody's going to go that's wrong if you do it the other way. Okay so for my inside there's the sentiment and be jolly this season so I'm just going to stamp that out again with mossy meadow on there and then that's ready to tape down. So got that. Okay. And that can go just like so. So that is the inside of my card. So very, very easy to put together. Hello, Connie. So um, like I said, it's kind of fun when all three of these ornaments can just go right into that embossing folder, one shot, run it through, and then you can just do your assembling really quick. So that's for a fun Deck the Halls um, holiday card. Let me get my camera turned around here. Okay, so, all right. So in the background, it's kind of quiet, but um, my hubby and I went shopping for quite a while today, and um, now we're home, and my youngest just came home from co uh, college for uh, 
Christmas breaks, that's kind of fun. And so they're decorating the tree because I really can't do that too well either. So um, it's kind of fun that they're already just chipping in and doing fun stuff like that. So that's really helped my recovery time, like oodles and oodles. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Amy. Hi, Rosina. So um, tomorrow I will be coming to you with card um, number two. And then on Wednesday, card number three, too, for Kay's virtual stamp party. So I hope that you guys can join in or watch later if that works better for you. It is kind of um, fun to come live at different times of the day because I feel like I see different names based on when I go live. So that's kind of neat too. So if you guys have any questions on anything, um, keep in mind something that I will be doing coming up, maybe even later this week after I get through these cards, is doing a little um, sneak peek of what's going to be in celebration as well as the, um, the next occasion or mini catalog, I should say, that starts January 5th because I have a lot of products that are coming and have come. And I have that new mini embossing um, machine too. And I think that's so fun. So this one I feel like is my size. And then the little one is about like the size for my granddaughter. So I kind of like to take a picture of us together with our machines and post that because I think that'd be kind of fun. So anyway, um, I would like to show you in person that just to build excitement because I am excited about those things, but I'm also excited about these things still because it's still Christmas season and I'm always surprised by how many people love to work on their Christmas cards now for next year. So some of you are already ahead of time, have sent out your Christmas cards and are working for next year. So to have things like this that you can work on, especially when we're still um, staying home a lot more often is kind of fun too. But let me know if you have questions or if there's anything I can help you out with and be putting in your mind if you'd want to be a virtual hostess during celebration. It's usually a very busy time for me. So I kind of want to prioritize and make sure that I get everybody that wants to be included in that taken care of in a timely manner too. So, hi Becky, 